all of humanity will disappear if you don't hand it over. Are you willing to pay that price? You're the only one. Although Ladybug and Cat Noir can be considered Paris's greatest defenders, even the best heroes need help on occasion. The later seasons of Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir find the title heroes with a full roster of potential heroes, but their methods for managing a team can sometimes be flawed. It's pointless anyway. I won't even be Ladybug in the future after we give up our Miraculous. Please don't do this, Minibug! Even before Marinette became the guardian of the Miracle Box, she would only give a handful of Miraculous out at a time, and then return them once she was done. While this is her way of making sure the Miraculous remains safe, her team of superheroes would be more effective if other holders could call on their power at a moment's notice. It may be true that not every known holder needs to maintain their Miraculous, but a few would make great choices for full-time heroes. See? In the future, that's exactly how you damaged my Miraculous! Hmm? Huh. I knew it! Initially introduced as Adrian's cousin in Season 3, Felix quickly asserts himself as a character not to be trusted. He turns Adrian's friends against him in his premiering episode, yet seems to focus his attention on his uncle Gabriel in all of his appearances afterwards. Felix is a neutral party in the battle between Hawk Moth and the heroes, and only aids one side for his personal gain. In the Season 4 finale, Felix gains ownership of the Peacock Miraculous and goes into hiding shortly after. When he is seen again in the episode Emotion, he's taken on the name Argos to wield his new Miraculous. I needed the Peacock Miraculous, and today I need yours and Cat Noir so I can make my wish! What's even more peculiar is that he genuinely cares for the Senta monster he creates, and feels remorse when he releases it. This caring side of Felix shows that he's capable of putting others before himself, and although he may be lost at the moment, he has the potential of making a good hero if given some help along the way. What we need is a magic wand. I can create any object I want, so I guess I can make a wand but I don't have the power to make it magic. While Ladybug's power is necessary to reset the harm done by Ichikuma, her ability to create the one item she needs to save the day is rivaled by the powers wielded by Nathaniel as Caprikid. The Goat Miraculous allows its wielder to create any object. These objects may not come imbued with magic, but they can be used in other ways. In the episode Penal Team, Nathaniel is given the Miraculous of the Goat for the first time. His power of creation is instrumental in the heroes defending the akumatized Chloe who believes that Caprikid's conjured magic wand is capable of giving his fellow heroes unlimited power. This amount of power and forethought on the battlefield makes Nathaniel a great ally to have, and his abilities as Caprikid could potentially save the day if Ladybug could not. It's your call. Uh, mind passing me that ball over there before you go? Uh Every superhero team needs someone who can run the numbers and come up with a plan on the fly. While Ladybug is one who naturally falls into the role, her occasional teammate Max could easily help her develop plans that go statistically well in their favor. If the team were to start utilizing his broader skills, the time it takes to defeat a villain could be cut in half. While Max excels with equations and programming in his daily life, his ability with the horse Miraculous isn't one to be taken lightly. Marinette and Adrian often travel across Paris to gather their teammates. But as Pegasus, Max could use his teleportation powers to do it in the blink of an eye. He could also help them track down runaway Akumas, evade enemies, and help escort civilians from danger. With an ability so versatile, Max should be able to utilize the horse Miraculous more often. The temperature inside will soon be close to absolute zero. Max won't be able to hold on in these conditions without superpowers. Mark may not be in the same class as Marinette, but he still makes an impression when helping her save the day in Penal Team. When he goes out of his way to meet his idol, he shows not only his ambition, but also his natural physical skill. He makes an excellent team player, and this translates easily into his role as Rooster Bold. Already fantastic when it comes to working with a team, Mark's powers with the Rooster Miraculous allows him to make up for whatever the superheroes are missing. With the ability to give him any superpower, he could ensure that the team always has the power they need, even if a specific holder isn't present. Shit, you have the power to make yourself less ugly? Actually, my power is to choose a super ability, and I choose to score a ball anytime I shoot. There have been many times in the series where both Ladybug and Cat Noir become discouraged. When this happens in the heat of battle, they could use a teammate who could keep their head in the game. 
Kagami is a character who has shown her ability to stand her ground, speak her mind, and rally her friends on more than one occasion. As the hero Ryuko, Kagami is a force to be reckoned with. The Dragon Miraculous allows her to harness the elements, making her one of the few holders who have more than one power. Her capability to use wind, water, and lightning before she has to transform back makes her a perfect line of defense between akumatized villains and her fellow heroes when the chips are down. <laughs> Zoe may have joined the series in Season 4, but she takes her duties as a hero seriously nonetheless. As someone who struggles to fit in at home, she knows the importance of staying true to herself as a hero, unlike the previous holder of the Bee Miraculous, her half-sister Chloe. A loyal friend to both Marinette and Ladybug, Zoe has already proven herself worthy of her Miraculous. The Bee Miraculous hasn't had the best track record when it comes to holders, and it has been put in jeopardy due to Chloe's desire to be a recognizable hero. As Vesperia, Zoe takes a humbler approach, and this good nature allows her to wield more than one Miraculous, as Plague trusts her to become his new holder when Adrian can't be in Season 5. Ah! Hey, you big ape! How about fighting someone your own size? When Nino's character is first introduced, he is shown to be a steadfast and loyal friend to Adrian. He cares so deeply for Adrian that he ends up akumatized in the episode The Bubbler, and he also stands up to Gabriel Agreste more than once on behalf of his friends. This overprotectiveness translates well to his abilities as Carapace, which makes him a crucial part of the team. As the holder of the Turtle Miraculous, Nino's ability, Shelter, allows him to protect his allies from enemy attacks. This not only keeps them in the fight for longer, but also provides them with a few decisive seconds that could make all the difference when coming up with a successful plan. <laughs> While Ladybug and Cat Noir are the duo everyone in Paris looks up to, Marinette puts more of her trust in her friend Alia. Alia is the first person to learn about Ladybug's secret identity and keep it safe. She has no problems following her friend into danger, with or without her powers, and she even manages to trick Hawk Moth when he threatens her family. This just scratches the surface as to why Alia is a reliable friend and hero. While she can't keep her identity secret from Nino, that doesn't interfere with her hero work and actually makes their bond stronger. She's so trustworthy, in fact, that she has wielded the Ladybug Miraculous on more than one occasion, and this trust should extend to her maintaining the Fox Miraculous full-time. <laughs> This is so insane! I've got powers and I'm fighting supervillains! Although Luca is the second choice for the Snake Miraculous, he ends up being the best person for the many responsibilities that come with his power of reversing time. His ability to keep cool and take on each situation as it comes makes him the obvious choice when it comes to reliving the same situation time and again. As the hero Viperion, Luca has learned things that other characters may not have handled well. Aside from Alia, he is the only character in the series so far who knows the true identities of Ladybug and Cat Noir. Although shocked at first, he continues to place his trust in them and keeps their secrets close to his chest. His reliability in the most trying of situations means that the team could benefit from having him on standby. Nice to see you again, Luca. You too, Sass. Use your power now. If Cat Noir and I get hit, you must come back to this exact moment. When Ladybug and Cat Noir are introduced to the hero Bunnix in Season 3, she reveals herself to be an older version of their friend Alex. In addition to being a hero that protects Paris, Bunnix is also responsible for monitoring and protecting the timeline. This is arguably the most important task that any of the holders have, as she ensures that alternate realities don't occur. In the premiere of Season 5, Alex is given the Rabbit Miraculous and sent to watch over the timeline, ensuring that her power as Bunnix is secure from Hawk Moth. It's stated that she'll return once their enemy is defeated and the other Miraculous are safe. But with a job so vital to the rest of existence, Alex should continue to utilize her Miraculous full-time. Canine Girl, now! <laughs> With so many potential teammates to call upon, Ladybug and Cat Noir could benefit from assembling their holders to be full-time heroes that they can trust, from friends who never let them down to fellow characters who have proven capable of handling precarious situations. This carefully built team of 10 could ensure that Hawk Moth never gets his hands on all of the Miraculous or Paris ever again. This is the Bubbler's gift to you! Don't worry, your parents will come back. I'll see to it. You take care of them in the meantime.